Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of a one life, one death. So last night I did clear out Valheim Towers and did receive an Orcish Curus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right out of it, which is a great upgrade I might add. Then afterwards, I did have to make a hasty retreat to White River Watch for the night. And then I made it back here, back home, I might add. So that was basically it for the night. Now for today, what I'd like to do is first things first, I have to get some blood because I am at stage, da -da 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 -da, stage four, painful thirst, as you can see. So I'm gonna need blood for tonight. And then after that, I'd like to go to Crow Vanguard Cave to get some venomous spittle because again, I'd like to work on getting some blood elixirs, and in order to do that, I need to make blood conserving files, which require venomous spittle to do so. And Crow Vagnar Cave is the perfect place to get such items, so we're going to do that for tonight. But first thing, first thing is first, is we're going to go and get uh, the blood. Now, because I am at painful thirst, that does mean I'll have to work a little bit harder to get the blood as uh, the guards will recognize me for being a vampire, so they will attack on sight. So in order to uh, get around that issue, I'll just have to avoid the guards, basically. Now, which way am I going? Am I going the right way? Yes. Uh, I could go into Shimmer Mist Cave. Not sure if that would be a good idea, though, because last time... If I remember, there was a wizard, and I'm not that great versus wizards. Uh, I think all all melee oriented characters could say that. You know, the wizards, uh, mages, are pretty much glass cannons, but they do a lot of damage, and I don't want to die. I'm gonna pick up this torch bug now. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, that Luna moth, maybe as well. Uh, what do you have? Damage Magicka? Oh, that might be useful. And you got ling Lingering Damage Magicka, so that might be useful as a poison. Been experimenting a lot with poisons on my own time, might I add. Been discovering quite a bit. Getting quite masterful with how uh, alchemy works. Because, full disclosure, I've never really gone too deep into the alchemy system in Skyrim. I never really got into it myself. I thought it was confusing initially, but I sat down one day, pretty much all day, and just started using alchemy. I'm like, oh my goodness, you can make so many crazy things. Once you really understand what's going on, you become God. God amongst men. Amongst men. Amongst men. Where did, where did he go? Oh. Knock them across the world. Oh, shit. Okay, let's relax here. Don't kill my horse. I need that to survive. It is very dark. Okay, I'm just gonna knock you over with the horse. Knock you down. And there we go. Good thing they were bandits. Because if they were regular people, I might be a little bit sad. But not too sad. I'll take that. One of these days, I'll get into the smelting game. Put you into the horse, of course, and pick up the blood here. What else do you have that I want? Nothing really. I could take that village wine just to break down into... Oh! Don't attack my horse! There we go. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he is regenerating a little bit. Which is good. Uh, what should I do here? Should I... I do have... I did bring... Oh, what is it? I did bring... A bone hunting knife. So I could field dress him, but that will take an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I decided. Now I just want the harvest ingredients. That's all I want. Ooh, animal bone superlative. That's pretty good. Now, let's see. 
Cyber Cat Tooth, Restore Stamina, Fortify, Weakness to Poison, eh. Stats aren't too great. So now the weather is getting pretty, pretty bad. Uh, I might need to go to Shimmerous Cave. I am going the wrong way, also. Or I could stand by that little brazier. Just so I can get some warmth up. But I think Shimmer Mist might be the play. Okay, just make a sharp left here. I'm hoping I'm going the right way here. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I just want to get indoors here and bring out my uh, wooden torch. I can't see. It is very dark. Get out of here, wolf. Actually, I could use that wolf for wolf eye. Where is that cave? It's like, should be like right on top of it. Maybe just around the bend here. Oh, who's that? Okay, that looks like the vigilant. Uh, let's not tango with them. Okay, there it is. There's Shimmer Mist. So I'm gonna get off the horse. I am very cold, and this is why I'm moving so slowly, mind you. So let's uh, avoid that by warming up a bit. Get the wooden torch out. That should help out with my warmth a bit. There we go. So my exposure is now uh, dissipating. So do I want to go in here? I do re distinctly remember... A mage, Falmer. But oh, they do have some good good ingredients here for poison making. Do I want to continue? Do I not want to continue? Do I want to? Do I not want to? Hmm. Uh, no. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to continue on. Maybe I'll hop between cave, cave to cave. I'll turn off that torch. Otherwise, it'll burn out in the water. I'm oh, sorry, in the rain. I mean, technically, I wasn't wrong. It, water is rain, so. And rain is water. I might consider investing into restoration just one point just so I can get healing hands because I really don't want the horse to die. The horse is pretty critical to this playthrough otherwise I don't think I'd be able to make any real distance before uh, the sun comes up. You kind of need a horse as a vampire I would think. Some sort of travel. Uh, okay, some sort of travel vehicle either Either that or going in the carriages a lot, but that would require spending a lot of coin over time, which may not be applicable Yeah, this is a really bad night for hunting I would say Probably would have been better to wait for the next night, but, you know, we got things to do. Rain or shine, or moonshine, I should say. Or, what is it, moonlight? I guess moonlight. I guess that would be the proper vernacular. Rain or moonlight. Which there doesn't seem to be any. I guess while I'm here, because we are coming up to it, I could pick up that lucky hat. Because uh, it does help quite immensely, so I'm told. The, uh, for, uh, the, for the fishing. 
So that would be applicable. You know, it's one of those things where if you don't pick up the hack, you're just gimping yourself. Personally, I kind of don't like that, where an item is just so powerful. If you weren't to use it, you'd just be way behind on, like, the fishing game or just, like, anything. I don't like it when the games sort of do that. Make one item so powerful where you need it in order to succeed in anything. Pick up these purple mountain flowers. Well, it looks like my horse is regenerating his HP slowly, but I prefer it to be a little bit faster. Is there a flower here? Yeah. Now, where would that house be? Oh, what's that? Oh, there's the house right there. I think? Yes? No? Yeah, it's like right underneath me. Okay, let's spin around the horse here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just drop the horse off here. I'll just leave him. Oh. Something is uh, stalking me in the night here. And there goes my horse. Oh, that's level two wolf. All right. Never mind. We don't really care. I mean, I do care because that wolf has some pretty decent ingredients on him. Probably not a bad idea to spend two hours. Actually, no. That's not. That is actually a bad idea. Okay, so here's the lucky fishing hat. You kind of need that in order to fish properly. Ooh, roll fat. Lavender resist magic. Yeah, sure. I'll take that carrot. I wonder if the, the horse eats carrots uh, Glow dust. Oh, yeah. Oh So there's some good stuff here Hiding in the debris Yeah, unfortunately uh, The billa will not talk to me I've been a naughty boy Take that treasure map and uh, never look at it because <laughs> we got to go. We got things to do. Not enough time in the night in order to get things done. Uh, how am I supposed to get up here now? Probably that log, I would think. It's probably how they expect you to uh, get down and get up. I'll be through this log here. Yeah, the weather is not good at all. This is a terrible night to go hunting. For pretty much anything, I would say. I don't even know where my horse is. And I am quite uh, exposed right now. That's why I'm kind of walking a little bit slow here. With my exposure, I should... Uh, I should say. Oh, there you are. All right, let's go to the spider cave. Yeah, if I did not have a uh, night eye going on, this would probably be one of those nights I'd skip. <laughs> Like, assuming if I were, like, a, a normal character, not a vampire, I probably wouldn't go out at night. Let's wait for, di for daytime. Dangerous to go out at night in this game, I would say. Speaking of going out at night, uh, where are we? Exposure cold, 5%. That's quite hefty. Uh, let's see, are we well... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, what's that? I heard stuff happening behind me. Ooh, okay. I was just looking at my... So I'm at stage two. All right, so I'm not perfect, but... Maybe... I don't want to feast on these guys, 
because that will sound the alarm and they'll all come after me and that will just waste time for today and I don't want to do that if I can help it. Alright, so I need Z-Dragon's tongue as well. Oop, wrong button. Where are we here? Do. Come back, come back. Oh, there's just a regular dragonfly. So where is the cave? I think it's up here, perhaps? Or it could be a little bit further in. I think it might be over here, actually. Or it could be wrong. Might be wrong. a bear. He's got some bear claws. Which might not be a bad idea to take because uh, bear claws are pretty good. Pair those up with B. Bear claw and B. And you get yourself a pretty powerful stamina potion, let me tell you. Okay. The cave is over there. So I was wrong. Oh, there it is. I'm like running right past it. All right, so I'll leave the horse outside. You can wait here. Very nice. Let me check out this mammoth here. Pretty good. I'll take that mammoth heart. Thank you kindly. And I'll take that as well. Might as well uh, eat the mammoth mammoth heart. Uh, should I eat that glow dust as well? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. There you go. Does give me a little bit of a buff. And a little bit of a carry weight buff. So it's not like I wasted it. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's get the fire going, because I want to see what's going on. You can actually light these braziers, like so, if you have a torch out. Very handy, I like it like it quite a bit. Warm ourselves up here. Oh, okay, they're coming. They're coming! Okay, I'm going to hide behind this. Okay, I got to be somewhat... I can't just tank all these hits here. I'm gonna have to uh, be a little bit smart. Okay. I mean, I can throw my stamina around like nothing because uh, I have so much of it. Come on. Come on, you. The problem with, like, going in the Spetter Cave is there's no blood available, so I have to be pretty cautious with where I... Oh. Oh, he's gonna leap. Don't leap. Okay. I'm not so worried about their uh, low sprays or whatever. They'll poison spray because I am immune. Oh, he's gonna leap. Okay, there we go. Power attack him. Oh. Okay, he's probably gonna come at me and leap any second now. Someone is. Yep. Okay. Okay, back away. Take out your friends. Get regenerate my stamina here. Okay, he's gonna start start his attack. No, okay. We're just gonna wait here. That's good. I wanna regenerate my stamina anyway. Don't wanna use up any stamina potions if I can help it. Uh speaking of stamina potions, let's have a little bit of a break here so I can set up my my favorites. Okay, 
Oh, he's coming. He's gonna leap, or he's gonna do something. Oh, that was a waste of a power attack there. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, another guy coming. So far, so good with my HP. Our attack. Okay, use that reach to my advantage. So he didn't hit me there because I outreached him. So I could hit him, but he couldn't hit me. So that was perfect usage of my weapon's reach. All right, so what do I want to do here? It is 3, or sorry, 2 a.m. So it does take uh, like an hour to search all these bodies to uh, skin them or not skin them, but like extract the venom and all that stuff will take like two hours to do what I need to do. So it will probably take all night and maybe a bit of the next day. So we'll have to wait in the cave for tonight. But uh, let's continue on. Oh, come on. There we go. Use that reach. Oh, a little bit too short. There we go. Oh, all his friends are coming. Don't want to waste my HP if I can help it. I can't regenerate my HP, remember. Oh, okay, come on. Oh. He's using the bodies as cover. There's quite a lot coming. Just keep swinging. Just keep freaking swinging. I think the bodies are actually helping me a little bit. Okay. <laughs> There's quite a few. It's starting to lag. Uh, oh god. I don't think the game was meant for this amount of bodies in one, one place. It's starting to... The game, Skyrim, is starting to get upset. Starting to get sad. Real sad, real quick. Oh, jeez. I thought it was going to crash there. That is a lot of corpses. Okay. Alright. So, we can calm down a bit. Uh, yeah. I will come back to this a little bit. Let's uh, continue on with the exploration. I want to see uh, what all the hubbub's about. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of them. A lot of them for sure. I'll bring this torch out so I can light this. Can I light this? No? Okay. Can't light it. Ooh. Yeah. And there's some things to mine here. So I did set up my mining from Complete Crafting, the Complete Crafting mod. I do believe it is the correct mod to mention that you can get a hundred ore from each um, vein now. And I feel like that makes more sense to me because now it feels like each ore that you find feels like it has like a lot of value to give instead of like just three ores. Now it gives a hundred. But the exchange for that is it takes longer to mine the ore. That's the downside. So instead of like two swipes or three swipes, take six. So you can get a lot more for your time. So let's get the hit off there and get your friend. Oh, he's getting ready for the leap. Got his little fingies up. Little fingers. Oh, can I? No. Okay. Okay, here. Come on. Lure. Lure and power attack him. Oh, he missed curtains for you okay let us continue on with the journey of a lifetime the adventure of the century okay i will say the downside of getting hit with their little poison spray their little poison spit is you can't see for a little bit little just an annoyance basically not really all that not really that big of a deal, really. So there's four of them here. So let's fight them on top of this hill here. Okay, come on here, friendo. Let's 
Ooh. Nice leap. Gonna give you a two-hitter there. And maybe a little power attack here. Long range swipe in there. And another one right there. And yeah, down you go. Oh, 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 oh. One more hit. And there we go. Power attack. Know the reach of your weapon. And that will help you survive. Yes, indeed. Oh, he dodged that. Very smart. He's the smartest one of the group. He learns. But not enough. Does not learn enough. I guess. Oh, can I light that? No. Ooh, there's another one. Uh, weakness to fire. Resist magic. Okay, that's pretty good. Can I look at this one? Frenzy. Oh, that's not bad for poison. Depending on the situation, that may work out quite nicely. Take all those eggs. Thank you. So I'll loot those later. Let's continue on. Oh, is that a big one? That is a big one. Okay. Uh, a little bit more dangerous than his little friends. Uh, hmm. Yes. But it looks like he might be stuck. Don't mind me. Just getting your eggs. Stealing all your eggs. Uh, yeah. It's like not a giant spider. I mean, it is a giant spider, of course. Like these, all these things are, fuck, he got me. There you go. I mean, these are all giant spiders, but these are like, not, it's like, it's a giant spider, but it's not so much of a giant, it's like, a, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's like something in between a giant spider and not a giant spider. Okay. <laughs> what am I fucking talking about? Let's just kill this thing. Okay. 600 HP. All right. Hmm. So how should I go after him? Oh, wait, I know what I should do. Like, he's stuck in there because he's too small. Because he's been eating too many fatty bloods or sucking on them whatever spiders eat. Uh, that doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, really. But it is probably the safest. And I do level up my marksmanship this way. That's what you get for being fat. Huh? Let this be a lesson. To all... <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all fat people out there. Don't be like this spider. Otherwise, people will just shoot you with their arrows. And there will be nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna get banned from YouTube. You can't say this. That's what you get for being fat. Now you're dead. This is a good... It's a story of life, I think. A good life story. I used to be a 300-pound spider, but then I went on the Atkins diet, and now I can chase after the Dragonborn. Uh, we'll go after you later. God, that was an old reference. Atkins. I'm sure, like, a ton of my viewers don't even remember what Atkins was. It's like this big deal, like, oh, the Atkins diet, oh. You could lose weight by going on the Atkins diet. Uh, should I go deeper? Hmm, well, I do have the HP for it. Could I do it? Could I not? Yeah, okay, let's do it. You've convinced me, brain, to go deeper into the pit of hell. And I'm... Pretty sure they'll start charging me like any second now. But hopefully they're... Yeah, there's some fatties here. You should have went on the Atkins diet as well. You can't fit through this little tunnel. Oh, another fatty. He can't move in the tunnel. Two. Ah, oh, he almost got me there. So I find a light attack followed by a power attack is pretty quick. 
But I find like a power attack followed by a light attack is pretty slow, but that's just me. All right, Atkins, let's let's do this thing. Oh, hello. Feel bad for all the arachnophobic people who've bought Skyrim. They're like, oh, this is hell on earth for me. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to get in there because uh, if I do, that'll trigger Mama Bear to come on down to Funky Town. And I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, well, you dodged out of the way. Oh. Oh. No. Okay, a little bit too short on that. Okay, come on down to Funky Town. What? How am I missing? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cleared. That's the sound of it being cleared. My goodness, Skyrim. So broken. You've killed all the spiders. Clearly not. Okay, so I took a little bit of a poke there, but the dangerous attack from these guys is the leap. That's the most dangerous attack out of all of them. So he's not going to leap on me now. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Good, good. Ooh. Come on now. Come on down to Funky Town. Where all the people happen to be brown. Okay, that's a bannable thing to say. I need to cut that out later. Okay, let's do... Come on. Come on. Okay, he's a smart one. He knows. He's got a 17 IQ. Okay, I spoke too soon. Okay, so Mama Bear, let's go. Any moment now, you will be popping out. No? Hello? Hello? I'm pretty sure there should be... No? Okay. Uh, hmm. Right then, I guess that... That's it? Huh. I did expect a little bit more i thought there'd be like a big boss monster but i guess not is this gold no it's moonstone oh that's good moonstone could be useful so make a note of that for later make a note of that to forget later i guess because <laughs> i'm very forgetful mind you uh yeah kind of disappointing i thought there'd be uh a big spider hiding in there but no Oh, well, let's see what we've got going on here. Some goodies. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. Guardian Circle. Ooh, Charming Touch. That's pretty good. Okay, that is abs very good, actually. The touch target considers the caster a good friend and stops all hostilities for up to 40 seconds. Wow. That's not not bad at all. I'll definitely take that. And a thousand septums. Wow. Very good. Not a bad haul at all. Alteration. Yeah. Maldiction. That's pretty good for getting soul gems. Uh, who cares about that? Imbued. I'll take that. Filled. That one's probably the most special item here. I'll probably want to learn that. Because I... I'm burping. Because I feel like that would be very, very useful. Assuming I can even use it. 900, but that's only because I have all this gear on me. What happens if I take it all off? Take it all off. Now let's uh, see what we've got. Oops, let's do magic. 
now it costs 99 and I'm not sure if I have enough. Ah, I'm just under. Yeah, damn it. Okay, well, it's good to have for the future, I suppose. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. Take that fishing hat off. Fish helmet. There we go. And there we are. All right. So let's uh, continue on. Uh, unfortunately, this person didn't make it. I think this would be the way out. I would think, yes, uh, so, hmm, well, okay, maybe at this point I'll just go backwards and start extracting all that venom, because that's the whole reason why we're here, basically. But yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed there was no, like, final boss to, uh, go after. Can't loot these skeevers at all, either. Okay, let's get into this now, uh, extract the venom, please. And then to that, and then we'll search. It's better egg than Miss Spittle. And then we'll dispose of you. I don't need the meat because, again, I am a vampire. Vampires don't eat meat at all. Dispose. Make some good time here. Extract, harvest, and search. Sometimes there's some extras on him. Ooh, don't jump. Search. Better eggs. Suppose. All right. Should be one more or a couple more here. Interesting that has an animal bone. Oh, gonna use the fire. Light the way, I should say. can't open that oh well a little bit unfortunate but it is what it is track harvest very good i would like that get my skinning up and running so i can uh get better better items from animals and whatnot light the way show the people i've been here And there is one other section of the cave that I'm kind of interested in. I did uh, notice it. Ah, dang it. That sucks. Oh, you don't have any venomous spittle on you. Useless. Such a big fatty and you got no venom on you. Why? I don't like that. Give me your, give me your stuff and stuff. Yeah, it's a very good haul. And up we go here. Okay. Why is... That is not good. Okay. Uh, I thought it was at stage two. No? Oh, yeah, that's right. Keep on forgetting. Uh, every time I loot these... These, um... These guys, a stage goes up. So, I've probably been at stage 2 or stage 4 for uh, quite some time now, and I completely forgot. Okay, well, shit. 
I need to be very careful and not jump anymore. All right, so I can loot the rest of these. Okay, so failed to extract venom. And for some reason, the venom is doing damage to me. It shouldn't uh, be doing that. Okay. Now let's actually check out and see what all these venomous spittle even does. Lingering, oh, this is very good for poisons. I can make a really powerful poison. I just uh, made a post, okay. I don't think I can loot these anymore. Yeah, there goes all my stamina. Shit. Well, you know what? I might as well just loot the rest of them because at this point, uh, it doesn't really uh, matter, now does it? So I'm definitely not going into that one area because if I do, it is over for me. I'm pretty sure there are some enemies in there. Oh boy. I hear, I hear garbage. Don't, don't come at me. Leave me alone. So. Okay, so they're still searching for me, so I'm not too worried. Okay. Yes, I'll have to leave. No, wait, I can't leave. I'm going to enjoy this. All right, uh, they, not sure what happened here because I, uh, because I left the door closed and I'm not sure how they even got through the door. So that's busted, uh, completely. I wanted to avoid this conflict because now, uh, I'm not sure what I can do here. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we have a chance. There's a chance. Okay, oh, let's... I'm going to hold on. Just don't do anything. This is useless to me. What a useless thing. I'm hoping that he'll just use up all his... Can I... Can I see? I'm trying to cheat. I just want to see how much magicka he has. I'm hoping he'll just like blow out all his magicka and then come at me in melee. And then I'll use the potions that way. I think I got a shot. I got a chance. It's a small one. But it's a chance. And the thing is too, I wonder if I can... I need to use this opportunity of the game just like completely bugging out. Ooh. Ooh, I can. I will I will have to use this. Okay. There's a chance. We we have it. There is a shot. So actually I'm gonna favorite this. Because I think I'll have to spend a few of these. Okay, we there's a chance. Oh is this happening? Did he run out? Nope. Dang it. I think he did. Because he's not. Okay. Remarkable. Okay, so I'm, I'm planning in my head how I'm going to do this. So I need to get all my stamina back. So I'm going to use the remarkable just to get all of it. I think this is remarkable is the best one. Or is it superlative? Oh, sup I think superlative is the best one. Or am I wrong? I gotta check. Just use this opportunity to check. Okay, it's super late. <laughs> Good thing I brought these stamina potions, otherwise it might be uh, impossible to, to do this little challenge here. 
And I do have the spider crude venom. Okay, so this is gonna work. Okay, I got this in the bag. So, gonna remarkable. I'm gonna put on my great sword. Ah! Ah! Oh, what the frick happened there? I took the remarkable. No? Fuck happened there? And you got jack fucking shit on you. Frick. Well, you know, at least I'm regenerating my stamina. So there's that. God damn it. What a useless corpse you are. But wait, maybe not so much because there's another enemy here. Maybe I can use you. Maybe you will be useful to me after all. Okay. Eh. Eh. Okay, I'll use another... Spider Venom. Oh god, this might be it. Because it's not working. Why is the... Because he was too high level? What are you... Some of these vampire abilities need to be looked at. I think they're kind of useless. Like... Okay, I want to see. Like, I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's another vampire. So, the other plan that I have... If you want to call it a plan, I sit here. <laughs> I sit here. And, uh... Wait till... The next night. Because it is 11pm. I... Th Uh. I don't have the HP. And it's another vampire, so it's undead. But I do have the Vigilant Greatsword. It's like the only thing I have here. I have to wait till it like blows away. Uh... What can I do here? If there was just that one vampire, then I, I could have done this. I think this might be it. I think it's curtains for me. Though it should not be curtains for me, because it didn't open up the door. Unless they can open up the door. In which case, then yes, it is curtains for me. 12 a.m. So it is nighttime. Yeah, I can't- I can't get out of here fast enough. Uh, yeah, I don't- I'm not sure what- what I can do here at this point. There's gotta be something. I gotta have something here. A carrot? Take my carrot. Um... Throw stamina... No. No. Nothing here will help me. Animal bone. No. It's a it's a vampire, so bolt. Uh maybe No, it's not gonna work because it's not ste not silver. Uh And it looks like he's got, like, unlimited shock.
And I guess seduction doesn't work against vampires. Oh, is he out? Okay, so I need to think. Like, I, I need to wait till he runs out, or she runs out of Magicka, and then I'll make a break for it. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, I know you are. What if I... Did I do this? I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make a wall of bodies. Yes, spider. Yes. Defend me in my honor. I need some rocks. That's what I need. Like, I need to time it to where <laughs> fuck. I think I can only absorb maybe one hit. Maybe if I crouch, she'll leave me alone and won't be able to see me. Oh, it's something's happening. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's it. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. That sucked. All right. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just trying to like think how I could have done that better. Uh, and uh, yeah, the only thing I can think of is. I feel like that shouldn't have happened because that door was closed. Now Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So I wanted to add a few addendums here now that I have a chance to sort of cool off and clear my head and really think about what happened. So thinking about it and doing some investigation on my own, I've concluded that the death was legitimate. So what happened was I did my own investigation. I looked at the door and the little tunnel that they came out of and they do have a button on their side that does open up which is well obviously of course they would have a button how would they ever uh, get out if they did have a button on their side so that's probably how they exited that area and reviewing my actions that i could have taken is after i killed the level 49 vampire which was an incredible feat in and of itself it was very neck and neck i should have taken that opportunity to just leave but i got cocky uh thinking i could take out the other guy thinking he was just a little pipsqueak but i was uh, completely wrong there uh that was my bad there now another thing i want to mention is me putting on poisons i'm not sure why i did that i wasn't really thinking at the time i thought they weren't vampires i thought they were necromancers but i don't know why i, I put the potions uh, or the poisons on to be honest because poisons don't work at all versus vampires i i think i was kind of desperate trying everything i could just to survive seeing i had very limited options and uh yeah that was pretty much my fault the death is 100 percent legitimate and i should have just left after i killed the level 49 at that point but again got cocky so that will be the end of elephant malcor it's been quite the ride and a uh, little bit sad to see him go to be honest i did have plans for him big plans but them's the rules one life one death there is no comebacks, there is no uh, mulligans, you know, for this. But that's okay. There are always uh, greater and greener pastures out there in the future. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you like videos like these and want to see other videos like them, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.